Now then everybody, I apologise for the um, sound quality if it's a bit poor, I'm not using my mic. Um, just got a question to answer for James1540. Uh, hey Dan, how do you, how do you, as in me, flat barbell bench press? Do you keep the back of the shoulders pinched throughout the whole range of motion? Yeah. Um, do you place the bar above, below or on the nipples? Uh, when I bench I come to about here. Um, on me like sort of like my breastbone. Um, do you keep your elbows aligned with your wrists throughout the whole range of motion? Um, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, mate. Um, please explain all of this because I do not have the best rotator cuffs. Thanks. Well, first off, James, I I'm not no I am a pro, well, so I'll try and help you as best as I can. Um, first off. Do you do a thorough shoulder warm up before you uh, attempt to bench or press? Um, I used to have really bad problems with my rotator cuffs, and at the on my front delt, I would get really bad pains across here and here whenever I did any benching or any shoulder exercises. Now I never used to do any shoulder warm up routine at all. Um, I now do what's known as the uh, YTWL warm up, and I also do dislocations as well. Um, you can find them if you search on YouTube, just type in shoulder dislocations, um, but type in warm up, otherwise you'll get some pretty brutal looking things. Um, same again, YTWLs. Um, recently I um, found out about a routine, a warm up routine called ABCs um, from my friend Audi. And um, again, that's another thing that you can do to warm up your shoulders. So that's the first thing that you should do. Uh, that'll probably eliminate most of your. Um, your, your shoulder injury problems. Um, so like I said, I mean, when I bench, I'll grab, grab the weights like this. I mean, I'm not sure what you mean about the whole wrist and elbow thing, I suppose. Um, what you need to do is, you come in, pinch your shoulders together and keep them pinched throughout, and that'll keep your, that'll keep your shoulders actually on the bench, because what happens is if you lean your shoulders over the edge of the bench, you've got no support for the backs of them, so all that load from the, from the bar is basically being placed on your shoulder joints so it pulls down whereas if you tuck them in it's going to be distributed across the back um, of your shoulders and on onto the bench where you need it to be uh, when you start benching heavier weights that can be a problem if you um, if you're not pinching them together so just bear that in mind so for like from this I come in like that grab the weights and I'll bring it down to about here so you can see how my arms are positioned I keep my elbows sort of tucked and then I'll bring it back out but I'll just quickly show you now, um, it's, hard, it's hard to do things like this when uh, you don't have somebody to film you because uh, obviously I've got the tripod in the way here so I'll try and show you as best as I can Come in, tuck my shoulders together like that, keep them pinched I'll find my gap, which is usually about there, I use my thumb on the nail in to find my, my distance like that, keep get the arch tucked, lift it up, bring it down to there, to, your, to, to my, my breastbone, and back up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and basically that's it. Like I say, I'm, I'm not, I'm no pro at benching, but this is how I do it, and ever since I have, I haven't got any single injuries, so that's it really. So there you go then. I hope that's answered your question. I thought I'd do a video because um, if I was to type it in the comments, I probably wouldn't do it as well. So there you go. I hope this helps, mate. Cheers for watching. Ta-da.